These new laws, which came into force yesterday under the Scottish Hate Crime Bill, allow for jail sentences of up to seven years to be imposed on those convicted of, quote, stirring up hatred against protected groups. Let's take a look. Sounds like a good bill, doesn't it? I mean, it, who doesn't hate hate crime? You, you'd have to be a really hateful person to hate a hate crime bill, wouldn't you? The, the only people who don't hate hate crimes are Nazis and children's fantasy authors, right? You know, of course, very difficult for a Guardian reading politically middle of the road twat like me to have a pop at hate crime legislation because if I do all the Guardian reading politically middle of the road twats like me will come out the woodwork and go well he just wants to go around punching trannies doesn't he you know you suggest that this piece of law is fucking absurd and people accuse you of wanting to spit at fat people when they're taking up too much space on the pavement and yet just the briefest of looks at the details of this new bill, you begin to see that it is, at best, massively ill-conceived, frighteningly vague and therefore scarily open to abuse, utterly unworkable and almost certainly unpoliceable, and at worst, an unthinkably draconian and insidious piece of legislation that attacks the civil liberties of anyone stepping foot across Hadrian's Wall who expresses an opinion that doesn't fit in the very narrow Overton's window of what so-called liberals would call acceptable. Under this law, you can go to prison for something you said privately in your own home. Someone else can hear what you said secondhand, then take offence at what they've heard you've said privately, and then report you to the police for something you said to someone else in private. And reporting it to the police is being openly encouraged by the government. And we're being told that these new laws are supposed to promote tolerance. And even if they decide that a crime hasn't taken place, it could still be recorded as a non-hate crime incident, which will go on your record and be available to potential employers without your knowledge. The extremely overworked police now investigating non-crimes. This is an absurd state of affairs. Humza Yosef assures us that these new laws aren't open to abuse and then throws the police under a bus by saying it's up to them to decide how the law is enforced. And he himself has already been reported to the police for a hate crime under the very law he's just brought in because the wording of this new law singles out young white men as the most likely perpetrators of hate crime and singling out any ethnic group or indeed gender which the wording of this law does is against this law so the wording of the law itself is committing its own crime they really haven't thought this through have they yeah and and Whilst we're told that comedy venues or theatres would not be specifically targeted by police, their training material says that public performances of a play is one of the ways abusive speech can be communicated and it is possible for actors and directors to be found liable if certain protected groups find the performance offensive or inflammatory. Technically, an actor can be convicted of a hate crime for playing someone who incites hatred. Someone playing Hitler can now get done for being a Nazi. A straight actor playing a gay character could be deemed so offensive that they could conceivably get arrested. And if a comedian tells a joke that, heaven forbid, punches down, he could be facing seven years in prison, which is the thin end of a very dull, boring wedge where all art is dead in favour of identity politics-based dogma, where people go to the theatre and comedy clubs, but there's nothing on, so you just have to sit there and discuss intersectional feminism whilst burning. DVD copies of Broke Back Mountain. And of course, the police aren't going to target performers, they just have to wait for someone to complain about it because there are hubs or official reporting centres where you can report these hate crimes. One of these hubs being a well known sex shop in Glasgow. Just for your convenience, you can rat on your neighbours' unsavoury opinions about immigration whilst buying eye wateringly abusive pornography. You can report Ricky Gervais for a hate crime whilst buying a dildo. It's a funny wee world we live in. That's my Scottish accent. Is doing a terrible Scottish accent a hate crime? P probably is now in Scotland. Which I'm not. So, fuck it. Here comes a highland granny. Great big tits and a hairy fanny. Thank you. <clears throat>
Protecting vulnerable people from abuse is an essential role of government and the law, but some are saying so.